Yes, guys, how are we doing? Hope you're good. Welcome to Morocco. So we're currently on here on a business mastermind right now. And um, this is how I invest in myself, right? To to grow in my business and myself and my personal life and how I want to kind of like be around the people that are going to help me get there. And I wanted to talk a little bit about like the the grounding that fear gives us. Okay, we I run a workshop on Friday with some great business owners. Okay, all at different stages of their career. Um, and one of the things that really came up an awful lot was fear. Now, fear comes in multiple ways. Um, it's for me uh, one of those state of minds that can be shifted, but it's one of those state of minds that completely grounds many people's progress within their business, within their life, within anything they do. Um, and it's usually, usually stemmed from overthinking. And now overthinking is a, uh, a thought process that we go through, right? And I, and I often feel that we get into the habit of overthinking, which then slips us into that, that pot of fear. Now, for many people, there's lots of different fear. There's fear of judgment, fear of failure, um, fear of doing something wrong. So we overthink the fear. And then what we actually do is nothing, all right? So we actually are, in theory, acting out all of our fears because we're never really going to do anything. And if we don't do anything and we get to a point in our life and we look back and we go, well, oh, I regret missing out on the last two years of not taking action because I feared everything. I did it. I, I wasted two years on a business idea that was very successful. And in those two years, I was um, fearful of um, failure, fear, fear, uh, fear judgment. Fear didn't, that I was doing it wrong. So I kept on planning and researching and making excuses. Very much like if you've ever done a race, right? If you do a race, you're going to do a half marathon, you're looking for ways to get out of that race. And uh, it becomes massively, massively overwhelming and anxious. And we waste a lot of time. We don't have a lot of time. And it's really interesting that I think if I had an egg time and I flipped it over for the amount of time that we do have, I think people would change the way that they showed up. And I think that fear would no longer be an obstacle because I feel like sometimes we feel like we've got an abundance of time. We feel like we've got forever, right? Oh, yeah, it's fine. I'll get round to it because I've got loads of time. When we really don't, before we know it, we're halfway into 2022. I'm already starting to plan for 2023. And it's crazy. And every time I do my emails and I'm writing the dates, I'm seeing the dates just disappear quicker and quicker and quicker. So there is no room or time for overthinking and fear. And I think sometimes we have to take a leap of faith. And the only way that I think that we can shift that direction of fear or fear grounding us is by learning to be in an uncomfortable state, mentally and emotionally and physically. So that means doing things that not we wouldn't necessarily feel comfortable with doing, i.e. going live on a coaching program, i.e. reaching out to someone to see if they're interested in your program, i.e. going to a seminar. Whatever it might be, whatever you think that is that's holding you back, we have to kind of get comfortable being uncomfortable. We have to experience fear for fear to dispense and disappear. Because the more that we do that, the more we put ourselves, but the more we put ourselves on the line, the more we get used to it. And the less fear has an impact on your growth of your business, of you as an individual. So I want you to think about something you could do this week, and it's almost a challenge. Something this week that you are fearing or overthinking, and just do it. Just literally do it and see what happens. And if you fail, so what? You've learned. If you win, then massive kudos. If you learn something, man, from it every single time, you can't fail. You cannot fail if you show up. You can fail. If you waste another five years thinking about a business idea or trying to do something that you've been toying with and don't actually do it. Now, we are helping business owners build confidence in themselves, manage their time and their energy, be more productive, get the balance right to get to that next level, to overcome that fear. So this is, could be your first thing. And coming to take part in our five day productivity challenge could be that first step. It doesn't cost you a penny, but it takes a little bit of investment of time between 30 and 45 minutes a day. And it doesn't take a lot to really make some massive changes in your business and in you. The link's on the bio here somewhere. Don't fear it, don't overthink it, just do it. Have a good night.